so I have this book right here that I've been drying some grouse fans in from years past of hunting and I have an idea for a cool little project on how to display them. So to do this project, I decided I'm going to take a walk with the dogs down the end of the street where there's some old abandoned railroad tracks. I know there's a bunch of uh, gray birches over here that uh, I think would be perfect for this project. So I took my bow saw with me and I'll see what I can find. So I got over here and there was already a tree down relatively recently because it's good and solid. If you look, when they lay down for a while, Birch gets really punky and nasty. It doesn't take very long for a birch tree to lay down and be that nasty on the inside. So you really have to vent it. And uh, it helps it last a lot longer. So I'm just going to cut this to the approximate size that I want it. Okay, Roscoe, you don't need to be right in the way. deck right there but I think that's a nice piece it's gonna do exactly what I want it to so I'm back from the woods and I want to take that birch and I want to stick it between these logs so I can put the chainsaw down to cut it lengthways okay this is what I mean by a vent because if you break the bark that's what lets it vent the moisture out of it so it doesn't rot. So I got the channels cut and I'm going to put the fans in so I put a little wood glue on it a little piece of leather and then I take it and I'm stuffing it right inside of here for it to dry 
That's essentially where it's going to be forever. I'm not actually gluing the fan to the log, but I've got the next one in there. We got one more grouse fan right there. Put a little glue right there. It'll help hold the thing, the feathers together and stuff. So I'm putting that right in there. Then I got these two woodcock fans. So I'm gonna put a woodcock fan right there. And this one right here. They're a little beat up. They didn't dry very well. That's a little project.